Microsoft has finally rolled out the amazing new dynamic arrays to their Office 365 subscribers who are on the monthly channel. Now, to check if you are ready to rock with dynamic arrays, simply double check if you have the unique formula here. You can use it like every other single cell formula and Excel will highlight the resulting array with a thin blue border around it. Now, what happens if, for example, you have something which is blocking the area where the resulting array should be written to? As you can see, in that case, you will get the new spill error, which allows you to make room again for your dynamic array and as you can see, as soon as it has the amount of cells it needs, it will rewrite out the array again. So, for example, if I now delete this line, as you can see, the new array is automatically adjusted to hold only three cells here. As I said initially, you need to be on the monthly channel in Office 365 to be able to use these dynamic arrays. To find out if you are, go to File here, then Account, and have a look below the About Excel. Here you will see what channel you are on, and so if you are not on the monthly channel, you probably have to wait a little longer or have to switch to the monthly channel. If you are on the monthly channel, then make sure that you have applied all the updates here, so you have access to the new dynamic arrays. So what do we have to do to make this work with user-defined functions that are written in Python here with Excel wings? Now, the good news is there is nothing to do at all. It just works out of the box. For instance, let's have a look here. So to get a time series query from Quandl, I could really just wrap this into a function here that I can import from Excel Wings. And then I can go into a single cell and say get Quandl with this ticker here and a start and end date. I click enter and instantly I get back my dynamic array. You can see the blue lines around the array. And if I switch the, the input, let's say I, I want to start a little bit earlier, then that will be automatically updated too. So very, very nice, nothing to do for you at all, except if you were using the old hacky um, decorator here, the return decorator, which will cause you to get a traditional array back, then do take away that decorator. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the accompanying blog post in the description of this video below.